Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. So today in this lecture we will be discussing about thermodynamics. So this is the first lecture in the thermodynamics series. In this I will be discussing about what thermodynamics is, what is its importance in mechanical engineering the vast application areas and the different approaches of learning thermodynamics so most of the students learn thermodynamics without knowing its importance do you agree from my experience i can say that during my undergraduate studies i learned thermodynamics without knowing its importance but I could get the opportunity to learn thermodynamics in detail out of my curiosity during my postgraduate studies. I took the textbook, appropriate textbook and start, started reading and learned a lot of things and its importance and the funniest way, the most funniest way I learned thermodynamics during my postgraduate studies. Then when I entered into teaching, I could teach thermodynamics to many batches in short term and as a full subject and the wide variety of thermodynamic applications. You can see my other series on renewable energy. Under that the solar energy you can see. It is one of the applications of thermodynamics. So without further delay, we will move on to the lecture. If you are not subscribed, please do it. And I would like to request all of you to give your valuable feedback in the comment section below. What you have learned from this short lecture. Have you understood clearly the importance of thermodynamics? That is the intention. That is the intention of this session today. The importance of thermodynamics and application areas. And the end of the lecture, you can also answer to the question. Are you able to relate your day-to-day -day activities with or as the application of thermodynamics or not? So let us begin. So what is thermodynamics? Obviously from the name itself you can see that there are two terms thermo and dynamics. Right? Would you answer what thermodynamics is? You can use the chat window below. What thermodynamics is? Thermodynamics. All of you might have studied the engineering mechanics. There is statics and dynamics, right? And you know dynamics is something related with force or movement, isn't it? Or rate of doing work, something like that. So it is very difficult to answer what thermodynamics is. But we can state in this way there is a science it is a branch of science thermodynamics is a branch of science of energy energy transfer and energy conversion three e's energy energy transfer and energy conversion now you may ask what energy is could you answer what energy is all of you will be having the feeling what energy is if you take some food you feel that I have no energy to do something and a lot of energy drinks are there to enhance your energy levels and you have heard about different types of energy, mechanical energy, electrical energy, nuclear energy, chemical energy, potential energy, kinetic energy, isn't it, molecular energy, isn't it, still 
we won't be able to answer what energy is it is very difficult even though we have the feeling what energy is it is very difficult to express in words but rather it is is easy to define the energy transfer that is easy let us see so thermodynamics have evolved from two greek words therm and dynamics therm means heat and dynamics power dynamics okay no c is there c is absent therm and dynamics so combinedly because in olden days ancient times it was a practice to convert heat into work rate of doing work is power right so from that this term thermodynamics now come up now thermodynamics is in existence since the creation of the universe because almost every activities in nature are taking place according to thermodynamics laws but still it has evolved as a branch of science only after the construction can successful construction of first steam engine till then thermodynamics principles were there even though it was not known as a science and later in 1859 william rankine william rankine wrote the first textbook in thermodynamics that is in 1859 now coming to the basics of thermodynamics so we have learned thermodynamics is science of energy right the first law of thermodynamics itself is another form of conservation of energy principle what is the conservation of energy principle energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but it can be changed from one form to another right so that is first law of thermodynamics we can see in the picture here the rocks falling off a cliff so at the top of the cliff the stones will be having a better i mean a higher potential energy when it is falling down slowly the potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy the energy is not lost one form of energy that is potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy so total amount of energy is conserved but at the same time thermodynamics also states that energy is continuously degraded or energy has got both quality and quantity that is second law of thermodynamics so both the laws change the way the things are being looked at from these two principles first and second laws so you can see the next picture on the screen we can see a hot coffee is placed on an open mug on a table what will happen automatically heat will be lost from the hot coffee to the surroundings right but at the same time if you keep a cool coffee on the table will it get heated up on a warmer environment it is not possible this is because when the heat is lost the degradation of energy happened that means it has been converted to low grade energy when the heat is transferred it has been converted to low grade energy conversion of low grade form of energy to higher grade is not possible there is another way of saying second law of thermodynamics so from the practical examples when we learn thermodynamics through practical examples like this it will be very funny and interesting and you can understand the principles very easily so my lectures will be in that way i'll be relating each and every principle of thermodynamics with our day to day activities so that you people can be able to digest it easily as well as 
you will not forget now coming to the application areas of thermodynamics you no need to go anywhere right from our own bodies you can find out the applications of thermodynamics could you please the human heart pumping the blood to different parts of the body there is a pump right pumping pumping blood pressurizing the blood and um, different types of energy conversion taking place in trillions of body cells each and every moment heat rejection through metabolism metabolic heat rejection from human body to maintain a comfort level and depending on the environment and climatic conditions we adjust our clothing in order to balance this uh, metabolic heat or heat rejection so that we feel comfort then a lot of household appliances starting from your ceiling fan television computer your mobile phone lights a lot of energy conversion take place in all these appliances then coming to the industrial applications a vast variety of industrial applications power plants air conditioning right a lot of things you can see as applications of thermodynamics these are a few applications not so much now as i said in the beginning so we'll be learning the different approaches you know that the matter is made up of many several uh, tiny particles called molecules right if you take a, a cylinder or a vessel containing gas if you simply keep a vessel on the table it will be filled with the gas isn't it you can identify the vessel with air inside it so this much with the dimensions of the vessel such as volume of the vessel so that much quantity of air will be there inside and the average pressure of the vessel at which the gas is filled then the temp temperature average temperature so all this will give you as a whole within the vessel at what temperature pressure a certain volume of gas is situated on the other hand if you are going to analyze at different parts of the vessel different molecules each and every molecule will be at different temperatures or at different pressures at the molecular level is it so these two will give you similar results but the second one when you are going to um, approach the measurement using studying the individual molecules to take a lot of time and effort isn't it the first one was quite easy because you are doing an average of the entire group of particles so these two differences are termed as macroscopic approach and microscopic approach macroscopic approach you can see from the diagram itself we are considering a volume as a whole a space as a whole it is also known as classical thermodynamics in which space average characteristics of the region which we are going to study is considered then the structure of matter the molecular level is not at all important we are not going to consider that only a few variables like pressure volume temperature are sufficient to describe the state of the system we will see what state system properties and all in the coming upcoming lectures then the second approach microscopic approach is also known as statistical thermodynamics statistical thermodynamics where characteristics of individual particles particles are very important as well as the knowledge of molecular structure what kind of molecules in what way molecules are arranged what is the spacing between the molecules 
what kind of energy the molecules possess in what way it is moving all these are very important in the microscopic approach a large number of variables are required to specify the state when compared to the macroscopic approach so these are the two different approaches so in most of the cases unless it is necessary we will be uh taking the first one macroscopic approach in studying the thermodynamics because that is quite easy the second one microscopic approach will take a lot of time and effort and error is also quite large when compared to the macroscopic approach okay so we have learned what thermodynamics is the importance application areas and the different approaches to learn thermodynamics so with that we will stop for today do comment your feedback and suggestions in the comment section below let us continue in the next session with units and dimensions thank you